Welcome to yet again another episode of Europa Universalis with the Warring State uh, DLC. So yeah, there we are. Um, huh, we actually have a, a little little bug, I suppose. Uh, so last time we managed to just uh, yeah get Salzburg, and I looked up what the HRE really uh, needs. I mean the HRE, and um, they say that uh, of course. Uh, so for instance, if you are a nation which is not part of the HRE, you uh, need to be small and uh, be favored by the emperor in order to join the Holy Roman Empire, so the HRE. And as emperor, you should uh, maintain at least four of the seven uh, electors as your friends. And we've got, uh, well, we've got Bohemia, which is basically one of the bigger ones. And we've got Tr Trier, or Trier, whatever you want to call it. Uh, to be the well, one of the electors, so we might need to change a little bit how we think about um, our diplomatic relations because we have five out of uh, six, so we can get Trier, and perhaps we need to. Uh, we've got three royal marriages and an alliance, uh, so that that's not too too bad, I think. So let's get uh, you. Let's get this one going as well. And also a royal marriage, if you do so. Oh, okay, your government type does not allow it. Mm. Okay, and against the Hansa. Oh well. Also, we still have this uh, this peasants' war thingy uh, going on. However, we should be able to uh, to raise it uh, against. Uh, yeah, we should be able to raise it. Uh, no piggy. And uh, we might want to continue on fighting a little bit forward. Uh, also, one of the things you might want to do is uh, make sure, uh, in Norfolk Territories against Bavaria, uh, make sure that you continue onward with the uh, no, Bavaria. So, with the, what's it called? Uh, Imperial Liberation. So, that, mm, that way uh, people will uh, like you. Also, it was suggested that you should uh, maintain uh you know get as many vessels as you can okay brandenburg you wish to become friendly with me and i will accept if you are a friend um, so there we are brandenburg you know friends that's good um however that did not kill us no it did not so we already had okay that's good so we want to become maintain uh we want to you know maintain the emperor position so we can have reforms and in that way we can s grow very easily because we are basically fighting our, our ourselves and then we can have one large empire and from there we should be able to kick France's ass once uh, once that is desired still ask myself how the fuck Castilla just got got that and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't take it because it's more dis dis decentralization and well we can't really deal with it right now uh, so we still got this unrest here, but we are coring it and it should uh, reduce the unrest over time. There we go, it kicked it in the bum. Excellent, and now we can uh, even build a marketplace in here. Excellent. Um, let's see, because I really want to just try out this unlawful territory thingy, Imperial Ambition. And I want to do it on München, really. You can get München? Why? Oh, well, they're allied with quite a lot of people and no one would join me except Bohemia. That's not good. You had war with the Ottoman, Ottomans and Athens. Athens. Oh, well. Um, you are at war with quite a lot of people as well. Mm, but I do want some of that juicy territories. Um, let me first check my legitimacy relations. Aggressive expansion, to be honest. Mm. And, well, we're still with this thing uh, going up quite quickly. However, uh, that should be uh, non-existent in due time, because, well, it, uh, it only grows yeah. when your uh, manpower is, uh, you know, less than 25%, and we just uh, hit that mark. And we have no current disasters, so that's basically... Uh, the well, it's not helping us, though. There we are. Spy squares. That's good. So we can now build armories left and right. 
Huh, unique buildings, many factories. Okay, so that never really changed. Um, and we don't have enough pizzazz. Okay, that's good. Um, right. What else? What else? What else? Uh, okay, inflation. No, we don't really want more inflation as we are already having quite a lot of problems. And diplomatic power, so we can get the other ones. Should we don't really want to become a uh, defender of the faith. There's no real need. We are already em emperor, you know. Mm -hmm. So Lüneburg still has unlawful territories and they will not give it. Uh, sure. Mm, let's see. Let's uh, let's get a. Uh, huh, we can't. Of course, God. Uh, still waiting on uh, on all these things to replenish. It, it is quite annoying. Well, in due time, it will uh, will no longer really matter. So now we can uh, start thinking about our ideas if we so desire, and we do. Um, we are, of course, a powerhouse. Okay, so that means. What does it mean? Mm. Well, I'm actually for the quality ideas because that really influences uh, the way you work. Exploration is a little bit, uh, yeah, unnecessary because, well, we don't really have. Uh, the navy at the ready. I mean, if you are England or so, it's it's more useful because yeah, the only thing you need to do is unify uh, unify the British Isles, which is a very easy task. Um, trade ideas mm, might be diplomatic. Diplomatic is also a very is a good one to have for the increased relations. However, let's first get quantity because I'm I'm all about that quantity. Abandon his idea group, really? Huh, interesting. Uh, that's actually, yeah, huh. Oh uh, well, uh, expiring Casabella against Castilla, Imperial Liberation. Nah, that's not. Now we've got all this money and we're not really doing anything just yet. So let's first get uh, ourselves a decent leader. Excellent. And uh, we get allied to so many people, though. Hmm. Just uh, fabricate a claim on Konstanz, so we can uh, start growing a little bit further. And da -da -da. oh wait, we never really took uh, rivals, did we? Hmm. Uh, I think Bavaria is a good one because well, fuck you, Bavaria. Then we've got Poland. Yeah, sure, because fuck you, Poland. And we're stronger than France, are we? Um, Venice, the Ottomans, uh, no. Hungary, perhaps, no. They are our neighbors. England, why not? Bring it, Brit. You know, just. <laughs> oh well. Uh, is there anything else we could do right now? So, replenishing quite nicely. Excellent. Uh, I want to build some armories. 27. Do I see high numbers? No, no I don't. Okay, so 25. Um, no. Can we actually get great subject? I don't think so. Mm. Oh, we already have a royal marriage to the Palatinate. Oh well. Mm -hmm. So we've got three out of four, or oh, three out of seven. So let's see, is backing themselves. You are backing me, and you are backing me as well. So it would be good if you could get like you. Mm -hmm. uh, control. Uh, we need more control. Mm. Is there another country we could just obliterate? We don't have any diplomats to send because we are getting you and to improve relationship with Switzerland. How about no? Um, 
Okay, we don't really have anything here. Huh. <coughs> Bergen. No, Rhinelander. Oh well. And there we are, we can now enter you, so I'll say to Württemberg, that means you too. I'll gladly fuck you up. Uh, is there anyone who might want to join? Trier, okay. Brandenburg, okay. Bohemia, okay. That's plenty. So you'll just, you know, get in there. And there we are. Okay, Cardinal across the border, so let's see. Uh, sometimes we have a chance to set something into motion without seeming to have done anything. Uh, one, such, uh, one such chance has arrived recently, uh, when the Cardinal living uh, on the soil of one of our neighbors admitted to an agent from Austria that he would consider moving across the border and support us in the Curia for a price. Uh, while this may be tempting, uh, there may be a greater price to pay if we take advantage of this. The wrath of the country he deserts. So it's basically who will be upset. Salzburg uh, will be the seat of Nukal. Okay, uh, München will no longer have. Bavaria gained diplomatic insult. Diplomatic insult. Um, hmm. Gain a spy master. Uh, rather have a spy master than a cardinal because I don't really care for the Holy See just yet. Okay, we're fighting Switzerland, eh? Oh well, in that case, uh, Bohemia, could you get that one? And could you go for that one? And could you go for that one? Divide and conquer, right? So yeah, I can get all. A revolt. Okay, high taxes and cultural and cultural and religious differences have caused uh, unhappiness among the citizens. If this continues, it will uh, drastically affect the stability of a nation. Ignore it, lower taxes, unrest in Salzburg, on... Hmm. Only in Salzburg, as you ignore it. It appears that they are taking advantage of uh, the situation. Very well, and um, something I would do as well. <laughs> Uh, let's make sure that this war is an easy, easy one. Just easy pickings. Hmm. And we're no longer really getting any war score for what our alliances are doing, though. That's, uh, that's a good thing, I think. Toward a certain degree. Okay, and we get a revolt, uh, a rebel uprising, and that may... So 50% that it, that may happen. Okay, uh, we've won the siege of Wurttemberg. Excellent. That's here. So let's uh, get you here. Okay, and we've won constant. So let's see. Ulm is also part of our matrimony. Good. What would you uh, suggest for us? So we'll see it to Austria. You'll pay money. Aggressive expansion. Mm, let's just make... Oh, uh, wait. I actually want to just... Uh, Walk through release nation. I could ask for Ulm to be released, and it would accept. Wow. Um, okay, let's see. A null treaties. Uh, you could also become an Austrian vassal. Mm -hmm. Give up claims on. Oh, you can actually. Oh, transfer trade war. Huh. We could do all these things. So we'll s uh, we'll be forced to give Austria ten percent of its income for at least ten years. We'll see. It to Austria, you'll pay also 21 ducats. Huh, um, yeah, sure, why not? A prince restored. Okay, so like a phoenix, Ulm, a holy Roman Empire member, state has risen from the ashes. Good, so we get authority from it, and we also get. Yes. And we've lost our castle's ally. Well, quite logically. Let's split up. Let's go to Salzburg. And you will just chill. Not here. Mm, I suppose here in Tyrol. 
Excellent. And uh, we'll just call you for good measure. And Ulm has now risen uh, from the ashes. Huh, interesting. And we could offer him vassalization, however, few country. It's not, we can't really uh, have any more diplomatic relationships, unfortunately. Um, but however, we can build, furthermore, uh, some stuff. Good. Uh, so let's just get some armories going. So we get. Uh, Stupid looming disaster, Bavarian Patriots defected Augsburg. That's not good. Uh, okay, and Ulm has announced a new rival. Sure, always happens, I suppose. Provincial unrest, because we are still quarreling it. Good. And here, unrest. So we've got a lot of heretics. Huh. Mm hmm. So we're getting currently gained 384 each month, and okay, we just uh, we've got all of our manpower restored. Mm -hmm. Oh bloody hell! A nation, the nation of Venice, your favorite ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the second Venetian conquest of Virkusa against Bosnia. This war, uh, okay, they've started themselves. Okay, good to know. And with whom are you to war? Only with Bosnia. Um, yeah, sure, we will join and declare war on Bosnia, sure. Hopefully Bosnia doesn't have any allies. They don't. Good. Um, we will send our finest to, uh, yeah, Hungary, dear friend. You may not have liked me. However, I can ask for alliance or access, not an alliance. Okay, good news. Hungary is accepted. So let's kick some ass. And can we, we can even set objectives. Wow. Uh, you want Ragusa, don't you? So, Venice, take Ragusa. Then you, Corfu. Uh, sure, take that one. And whom will be taken by Nexus? Why not? <laughs> I mean, not really sure if the these... Um, whatchamacallit, so cancel military access. So, not really sure if these nations will not do anything if, yeah, you know, you don't tell them to do anything. That's, that's my question. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get this one quite quickly. So we uh, we are losing so many men, Jesus. It's a little bit retarded, but it's, uh, this should help, I hope. And we can also build one here, good. So I'm not really sure if that is uh, total. Let's see, if we were to, yes, buildings, so, okay, it won't show. I'm not really sure if that is the amount of men we can restore every time. Uh, concession of the church. Okay, noble families were often granted control over church, la uh, over church lands and appointments were made in many states to exchange for cash contributions uh, to the crown's efforts. The crown, of course, lost control over some revenues this way uh, in exchange for short-term boost in revenue. Okay. Okay, functions, so uh, yearly papal influence. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lose ability over money, that's for sure. Because, well, we are making money. I mean, look at it. So, okay, the Byzantine refugees. By all means, let them come here. So, uh, uh -huh. um, so let's see, enormous boost in Earth. So they will reduce technology costs. So of course, uh, when Be the Byzantine Empire fell, you know those that was basically the, the brain port of the world at that point. So all the great, uh, doc you know, all the great, uh, I don't know, all the knowledge basically came from there. And when it fell, they all uh, fled to well, basically Venice. However, we uh, actually got uh, an option to get some of those uh, smart people <coughs> and so we did so we now have 10 percent uh off on our uh, research which is good which is uh, a very very nice thing to have and something i always want to have <laughs> okay we've won here and now we can oh, how many can you really <sighs> Are you telling me I'm fighting your war is a stupid joke? Uh, 
Okay, so I'm fighting your war, and I'm not really too, too happy about that, though. Uh, there you go. Do something useful for once. Thank you, Venice. Uh, we are now fighting also the stupid... Oh, sh shite. Okay, we are winning. However, it's... Hey, who did... Who helped us? Who was kind enough? Venice helped us, huh? Okay, so that revolt happened, and now it... Oh, okay, unrest decreased. Harshly, I suppose. If all, uh, all the people against are fighting you, and they die, that... Yeah, that should work. And hopefully we can now uh, start increasing our manpower. Something I really, really like, you know? <laughs> Just uh, taking... Oh, you know, having a siege and still increasing your manpower. And that's basically what happens uh, after a while in... Uh, if you if you are playing for like a hundred years or so in game of course not in real game in real time uh, you gain so much manpower that the only way you can complete it is by killing all of your armies over and over and over which is basically something no one really does but it can happen you know a long drag out war i mean all your stacks are just moving left to right and getting killed left to right uh, so yeah it can happen Okay, you now own the war target. Should we also... Uh... Huh, okay. Take Ragusa. We've taken Ragusa. We will now take Bosnia. Of course. <laughs> uh, oh, nah, let's not. I mean, it's already a dead... That one, so let's not uh, take any more... Uh, yeah, death from it. Uh, there should be a stable government. Okay, accept the demands. Sure. A new Pope is who's in favor of Cast oh, Castilla. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Naples wish military access. Okay, so that's also a tricky thing. So as you can see here, you know, I've got six out of six diplomatic relationships. However, if someone asks you for military access, because military access is also a diplomatic relation, and uh, then, yeah, that only works for them, even though toward a certain degree it should also work for you. But I suppose it is a relation they need to uh, maintain instead of us. Uh, sure. Whoop. There we are. Oh, shoot. I mean, honestly, how? <laughs> this is the third time I. Okay. Um, so it's yet again time uh, to end this episode here. Um, I'm just having way too much fun with it. Um, we're not really growing too quickly because, well, honestly, the manpower, that's ridiculous. And, um, yeah, that's the only reason and aggressive expansion and such. Uh, however, uh, this is the end of yet again another episode. I'd like to thank you for watching and bye.